Lifelong dream of education is becoming a reality for one remarkable woman in India. Barefoot Empress, a new short documentary, follows the journey of 96-year-old Katyayani Amma as she joins a first-grade classroom for the very first time. The film was inspired by director Vikas Khanna's own grandmother, who was not given the opportunity to receive a formalized education. Amma, who is now 100 years old, and her story are also helping girls in underserved communities across India get the education they deserve. Khanna is partnering with several nonprofits, including Leap to Shine, which pledged to educate 5 million girls in India. And joining us now is Michelin star chef Rostian Ter, director Vikas Khanna, and Oscar nominated filmmaker Doug Rowland. And they are the team behind Barefoot Empress. Vikas, Doug, welcome to the show. It is awesome to have you with us. Um, Vikas, I want to begin with you. Congratulations, first and foremost. Um, this film is just over 15 minutes, but it doesn't half pack a punch. And I was there at the premiere, and I don't think there was a dry eye in the house, but they were happy tears. Just explain who Amma is, what she means to you, and, and what your message was in writing and directing this movie. I think Amma is somebody, I've never met somebody with so much courage. Mm. She, she wanted to live this dream. And when she got the opportunity, you can see how grateful she is, you know. I have been in her room. She was up at 3 a.m. in the night learning tables. She hates mathematics. I must put it on the table right now. She hates mathematics <laughs> and really struggles with math. And you'll see it in the movie also that how hard it is for her to calculate. But I've seen her work so hard and I've followed her life over the last four years. And she is a symbol of people not giving up on their dreams. And also grateful people are, as we are so privileged to receive education like this. And I think we were built on women like this, our careers, our lives women like my, my grandmom who never got the opportunity to go to school, but they were the most intelligent in the whole family. Yeah, and this is I, what I felt about my mind. That's what connected. Yeah, I was just going to say, you see in the movie in the beginning, she's laughed at. She's, she's, she's ridiculed. I mean, she was a mother. She was then widowed. She worked in a temple cleaning just simply to keep her family together and to keep them fed. And then you see the power that she has as a star pupil and how suddenly the her classmates who are young children look up to her, idolize her as someone that shows them you're never too old to follow your dreams. Yes. Yeah, we're both speechless. Doug, come in here. What was it about this story, and I think we're already explaining it, and Vikas, of course, that caught your attention and made you want to add, what should we call it, um, some Hollywood glitter, perhaps? You already had that, but <laughs> your sparkle. You know, this was something where the moment that Vikas first told me about this story, I was just taken by it, like anyone has been who's seen it. I mean, you know, Amos is someone who you know, you can't help but be inspired and, and smile when you see her on screen and you hear her story. Um, but moreover, you know, Vikas is someone who I've gotten to form a really strong friendship with over the last couple of years. And um, I was also so intrigued by what I knew he what his plans were for this film to, to, to really help you know, so many young girls in India and have a huge impact there. And, you know, as a filmmaker myself, who who has a history of social impact filmmaking, that was something that really, really spoke to me as well. So it was, it was first and foremost, Ama and who she is and what she represents in her story, but also the impact that a film like this can have. Yeah, I mean, Vikas, your last movie that you did and the last time you were on the show, you were talking to us about your role as an ambassador for widows. And this is part of this story, too, and the importance, as you said, of allowing young girls and women to be the absolute best they can be in, in all forms. And I think the word that you used was when a woman's widowed in India, she becomes inauspicious. She's seen as bad luck. And I think some part of the power of this movie, too, is about breaking what can be a devastating life cycle for women and that they perhaps never achieve the things that they should. Just explain the importance of, of that part of your of your story and your power and, and the story that you're trying to tell. 
So for the last color, we we were partnered with so many amazing foundations, especially with Global Fund for Widows, who empower widows around the world. Just to put it uh, here, there are more than 350 million widows in this world, and many of them have been disinherited, and they have no dis- they're totally disinheritance. And I felt that you know, I, I was when you spoke to me, I was at the in Washington D.C. I was I was the only guy in the crowd over on the stage. And here was, you know, picking up the issue of girl education, because I don't think so there could be a foundation of a nation until girls get rights to be educated. And I think this is what Amma has become such an ambassador and symbol of that if she was educated, she would have not lived a life like this. Yeah, it's about breaking that cycle. And actually, because very quickly, it's all the more important after COVID with fears and concerns now that millions of girls that were in secondary school have been forced to drop out and they'll never go back. So there's never been a more important moment, I think, for for this movie to shine a light on the importance of education for young girls and to keep them in that education. So we are rehabilitating classrooms and actually the first classroom is uh, in honor of Doug's little girl, Louisa. And he was on the live camera looking at this little classroom. And uh, we are rehabilitating. We are also working on nutrition because that's also a very important part of girls dropping out of school. And we are also working on giving them the right tools so that they can be educated. We're absolutely right. More I'm understanding this issue in India right now, in some parts of the country, I feel that it needs more attention. And I'm glad that we have partners right now on ground who are working towards this mission. It's amazing when I see when he must mask or Amma's portrait in the classroom. I think it just fills my heart with so much joy that Amma's legacy is massive. What she has done, especially when she says, I'm not ashamed to sit in the classroom with my great grandchildren age, that shows the courage of a woman when you're bound by social norms all your life. She's not ashamed of this. And all, I remember when she was being celebrated, all the neighbors who criticized us, they were right there in that function, celebrating Amma. So it takes a brave heart to break that norm. And, that's and a powerful woman. Um, Doug, we want to take what is a, a local story and make it global, which again is, is tied to what you're doing. And it's funny, we spoke to the IMAX CEO recently, and he was talking about the importance of local language film and how more and more people around the world are sort of resonating, being inspired by this kind of movie. Talk to us about what qualifying for Oscar entry, and we'll all keep our fingers crossed, means for this movie and just spreading the message far and wide. Well, yeah, absolutely. You know, this is a this is a story that needs to be seen by as many people as possible. And, um, you know, a platform, um, you know, like the Academy Awards, like, you know, sharing it in, in all the different spaces we, we have been sharing it, it, it magnifies this story and allows it to have um, first and foremost, the, the emotional impact that, you know, that it will have um, in, in people getting to hear directly from Alma and, and learn about her story. And then beyond that, the work that we were just talking about that, that's happening in classrooms um, in India, have that be have the largest impact it possibly can have. So we just want as many people to see this story as possible and be moved by it and, and be inspired to, um, to do something. Yeah, she's certainly inspiring. Um, because she's now 100. Talk to me about how her education is going, because we know she's a star pupil. I mean, she blew away all the tests that she was doing, and um, you could tell that she was sort of quietly very proud of that. <laughs> and she tells me that, you know, I just made sure that nobody cheats from me. I <laughs> lost it. And um, if I will be with Amma, I'm going to go and enter new children's book, which you've written on Amma's life. And I think that's very important. And I want her to see that we have a new poster of the movie and she hasn't seen that. I'm going to take that with me and see an update on her education. So I'll be updating on my social media tomorrow. Amazing. And, and very quickly, Vikas, you tweeted out a picture of her holding your arm and you get a sense of how tiny she is. She's a really tiny lady. This is... Yeah. This is one teeny, tiny, fragile lady who is so powerful in her heart. Um, One can only imagine what it's like being in her presence. Every time I leave Amma, I feel that I had the privilege to be in the same room 
breathing the same air, and she's like a goddess. And uh, I did ask her one question, which is not in the movie. Do you forgive who treated you so bad? And she says, you have to do that to move on. Like the wisdom, what she says in the end of the movie, that you can stop going to God's home. Have you stop God coming to my home? Like that's brilliance of 100 years old of wisdom who survived and sustained and endured so much and forgiven everyone who stopped her from being someone. Wow. Forgiveness is all important, but despite or with them, she's yeah. one heck of a powerful lady now. Vikas, congratulations on the movie. Doug, same to you. Fingers crossed. We'll see how it does. Vikas Karna there and Doug Rowland. Great to chat to you both. Thank you. Our goddess.